Hello everyone, it's your boy Alexis Yoko or Alexander and today we're discussing some Black Butler theories, more exactly Undertaker theories. Even if I don't agree with what he did recently, Undertaker is still my favorite from Black Butler. He is just a masterpiece of a character and I'm not even exaggerating. Okay, let's get to the theories. We all know the very popular theory about Undertaker being Claudia's secret lover. Claudia Phantom Hive is the grandmother of Ciel and the mother of Vincent and Francis. She was born in 1830 and died in 1866 at the age of 36. Undertaker keeps a lock of Claudia's hair and calls his morning jewelist his treasure. The locket with Claudia's hair is emphasized, therefore she must be very special for him. Fans theorize that Undertaker was Claudia's secret lover. And as a fan as well, I agree with this theory. I might add that Undertaker probably tried bringing her back. Otello said that seven years ago, which would mean 1819 for them, Undertaker turned against the Shinigamis. Claudia died in 1866, so I guess her death is not the reason. Undertaker was very secretive about himself and his work, so probably he started his experiments with bringing back the dead way before Claudia died. And this is a separate story. Back to Undertaker and Claudia. In this image, we can see Ciel and the other people who were Queen's watchdogs. The one before Vincent must be Claudia. Undertaker states how he doesn't like the Queen because she puts the Phantom Hives in danger. He also said he doesn't want to lose another Phantom Hive. And I'm pretty sure he was referring to our Ciel because the real Ciel is dead anyway. I guess Undertaker wanted to keep our Ciel away from his domain and therefore from being the Queen's watchdog regardless of the method. And that's why he bought the already dead seal to the Phantom Hive Manor. It's very probable that Claudia was killed because of her position, by one of her rivals, like Vincent was. I think Claudia and Undertaker were lovers, but she was forced to marry another man. We know Undertaker went by his registration number when he worked as a Shinigami. That's why some fans theorize that Undertaker's real name is Cedric K. Ross, Rose, Roswell, it's cut off. People also theorized Undertaker is Cedric because the German Shinigamis say that Ciel can see them because of his lineage, implying that Ciel is Undertaker's grandson. That will also make Undertaker Vincent's and Francis' father. But, notice how Vincent and Francis look alike, but they have different hair colors. Claudia's hair was blue, like Ciel's hair. I know that's a fictional story. But I don't think blue hair and white silver hair make black hair, like Vincent's. It gets different when it comes to Francis. Her hair is light silver or platinum blonde, however you want to call it, more similar to Undertaker's. She also looks very similar to Undertaker in general. Also, Francis doesn't appear next to her brother in the family tree. The family tree the Shinigamis have, not the official one. I guess they were talking about Ciel's lineage as a queen's watchdog, not as Undertaker's grandson. So, my theory is that Francis is Undertaker's daughter, and Vincent is the son of Cedric. Francis's age is also not mentioned, we only know she's younger than Vincent. So maybe Claudia had an extramarital affair with Undertaker and had a child with him. I guess her family either didn't know this, either they knew and hid it from everyone else. I also assume they punished Undertaker by torturing him, which will explain his scars. Or maybe he got them because other Shinigamis tortured him when he turned against them. Now let's see how Francis and Undertaker interact. He tells her that she looks like she was born yesterday. At first I thought it's a very weird thing to say to an adult. But maybe Undertaker wanted to say that in his eyes Francis will always be a little girl. Something parents usually say. He also calls her by her maiden name phantom hive, because for him she will always be a phantom hive. Also, observe how Francis doesn't try to comb Undertaker's hair and she doesn't say anything insulting, especially that Undertaker is the opposite of strict. You'd expect her to be like, you don't come in my house with such an unkempt appearance or something. Also look at the way she looks at Undertaker. If he is indeed her father, as I think, does she know this? Another thing. Francis says that Undertaker has been around since her father's time, but Klaus says Vincent was the first to meet Undertaker. 
Some fans theorized that Undertaker was switching between different identities as he roleplayed as the principal of the Weston College, and probably Klaus only knew him as The Undertaker, since he's the one stating Vincent met The Undertaker first. But Francis said Undertaker too, they both said Undertaker, while stating different times in which he met the Phantom Hives. If he was roleplaying as a different man back when Claudia was alive and then became The Undertaker, someone must have noticed. He barely shows his face when roleplaying as the principal. Some people said he shows it to Francis, but that's not Francis. That's probably a lady that never saw the principal before anyway. So, he hid from Francis too. He also ran from Sebastian. And there's a reason why Undertaker prepared such a long table for CL to sit at. If Francis didn't hide the thing that Undertaker was Undertaker back when Claudia was alive, it may mean 1. This is the official version and Vincent wasn't the first to meet him. But if this is the official version, then why Klaus doesn't know it? And if Francis was lying, then why did she do that? If she wanted to hide the fact that Undertaker is her father, wouldn't it be more convenient to say Vincent met him first, as Klaus said? Was Klaus the one who's lying to protect the Undertaker? Or maybe... 2. Vincent meeting Undertaker first was the official version, when in fact, he wasn't. Which makes me think Francis knew what's going on, and only a few people knew what's going on. When the real CL arrived at the Phantom Hive Manor, Alexis said that he has the right to know what's happening, and I guess Francis is about to tell the truth to her husband, and the real CL. I don't know how much she knows, I don't know how much she gonna say, but my theory for now, aside from Undertaker being Claudia's secret lover and Francis's father, is he had to hide when Claudia was alive, but in reality, he was there by her side, helping her, but also warning her about the dangers of being the Queen's watchdog. So I don't think Undertaker was role-playing, I guess he was hiding at some point, which will explain his bangs that cover his eyes. Not to mention he's usually dressed as a mute mourner, not as an average Victorian man. So a good disguise. Now let's see more similarities between Undertaker and Francis. We know Undertaker is not exactly in his right mind. Francis also has a couple of screws loose in her head, and so do her children. No offense. As reserved and prudish as Francis is, she can't contain herself when it comes to making rude remarks about people's appearance. And I guess we know where she got that from. Now I'll talk a bit about other theories people made regarding the similarities between these two. Some people make the argument that Francis is stronger than an average human, so she must be the daughter of a Shinigami. She trains every day, it would be expected for her to be strong and agile, with or without a Shinigami parent. However, since I believe Undertaker is her father, I don't exclude this possibility. But at the same time, it's still inconclusive whether or not her abilities are inherited. Some theorize that it was impossible for Undertaker and Claudia to have kids even if they were together. Because Shinigamis are already dead, so how could they reproduce? I used to believe this too. But Shinigamis are something between humans and gods. They can materialize in the human world. They can interact with humans. They need to sleep. They need to eat. Girl said she cancelled her manicure appointment, so her nails grow. Which implies that a Shinigami's body still functions like a human body. And that, in fact, is possible for a Shinigami to have biological kids. Some fans say that Francis is a Shinigami's daughter because, like most Shinigamis, she hates Sebastian. But after all, some other characters threw fits at Sebastian and Sebastian at them. It's not just Francis. I think Francis doesn't see Sebastian as a good example for CL. But it's not like Sebastian will start a confrontation with a noble lady as a butler, wouldn't he? I guess he's more distressed by the situation, not by her in particular. That's all for this video. We still don't know enough about Undertaker's and Claudia's past, but for now, my theory is that Francis might be Undertaker's daughter. I might be wrong, I might be right. What do you think? Do you have other theories? Tell me your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching.